I'm very happy because uh, this is my first time uh, in Dallas and I'm so honored to uh, be here during the celebration of uh, the 40th anniversary of Cantoni. Also, thank you for uh, uh, the visibility you are offering to, to our brand. I inherited the company from my father, Pierangelo Gallotti, that was one of the two founders. He's the one on the left. He founded the company together with Luigi Radice back in the 50s. They were glass engravers and they shared this uh, big passion for glass and design. They started with a little uh, workshop producing and manufacturing dining tables, coffee tables, uh, lighting, accessories, all made in glass uh, and metal and all made by hand. I took over in 1996, an amazing journey to bring my personal style to the collection. I guided the production from being mainly focused on glass complements to a complete and diverse collection, not only in terms of typologies, furniture typologies, but also in terms of uh, new materials and new finishes that were added. Today, uh, our portfolio includes products that uh, are dedicated to the living, the dining and the bedroom spaces, uh, lighting, accessories, uh, as well as office uh, um, solutions. I also ventured into the art world. I applied the art to our design. The lifestyle collection is uh, mainly a celebration of the feminine elegance, uh, timeless beauty and uh, sophistication. I have to say that Cantoni has been an amazing partner for us. I met Michael, as he said, uh, 25 years ago. Since then, we started collaborating. We grew, Cantoni grew as well, we evolved. Uh, but we've always been partnering. And today is such an amazing uh, satisfaction to see my lifestyle collection displayed in such a beautiful uh, setting. Cantoni is representing the uh, finest luxury furniture brands in the market. So we are, we are very proud about this collaboration and also very grateful for uh, all the confidence and the trust that uh, Cantoni has, and Michael have always uh, had uh, uh, for Galotti Radice. Synesthesia, it's a poetic and unusual word, describes uh, a, a special phenomenon connecting the senses together, mm, perceiving sensations, different sensory spheres. By the way, we are using this uh, metaphor to explain a, a concept that wants to transcend the boundaries of the normal perceptions. So we call it caress with your eyes. Normally you can say that you can see through touch or somebody told me you can see through the sound or you can feel uh, with your eyes. Actually our design is aimed to offer a multisensorial experience. The beauty of our spaces wishes to create emotions, to inspire, to uh, stimulate and to engage. And this is also what our lifestyle would like to do. So to uh, create emotion, to uh, involve our clients in our world. For example, uh, you can admire the preciousness of a natural travertine by uh, touching it, or you can feel the softness of the, our cotton fiber uh, decorative wall, or again, you can see the elegance of a three-dimensional uh, pattern on the fabric. So that's the idea of synesthesia. Here is a small video of our collection displayed uh, in our Milano showroom. We want to uh, create spaces where people feel good. Craftsmanship, it's an important ingredient to our lifestyle. Actually, we live in an area where uh, a lot of artisans are uh, concentrated. It's a special heritage that we would like to preserve 
and we work every day to uh, apply their talent to our contemporary design. Today, our lifestyle uh, tells the story of uh, craftsmanship, elegance, uh, timeless design and passion. Again, I would like to thank uh, Cantoni and Michael. I hope that our journey will continue for years and years, bringing uh, elegance, uh, timeless beauty, craftsmanship, and passion into homes in Texas and beyond. So thank you. I will ask Beatrice to join us. She's our sales manager for the US. So hi everyone. Let's discover a little bit more the collection uh, in details. Actually, the company keeps on investing a lot in the collaboration with the designers and architects. Uh, because actually it's not something uh, that has to be taken for granted to melange uh, different designers and different styles. We actually did a kind of uh, selection during the years because we tried to keep uh, the designers who can enhance more and more the elegance and uh, feminine touch of the company. So the, the gentle touch and uh, the uh, feminine uh, style have to be the fil rouge of the whole collection. So in here we can explore a little bit more in details of what we are talking about, starting from the first product. I would say from the first designers, Massimo Castagna, who is actually the one who started, together with Silvia, the idea of the lifestyle collection. So he is one of our main designers who designed, uh, let's talk first about the Cloud Infinity, which is the sofa that you can see in here with a different uh, combination, a different uh, kind of composition. So modularity is the key word to describe uh, this uh, family of uh, um, modules. In here, we can see different uh, uh, kind of compositions depending on the space you have. You have some uh, optional objects like the coffee table that can be positioned in the middle of the composition. And the idea of the cloud infinity actually reminds of a cloud. So thanks to these uh, stitches, uh, to these uh, details all around the sofa, you can really think about uh, the idea of a cloud. Second thing, Haumia. Haumia is like uh, one of the top selling products of Galotti Radice, always designed by Massimo Cassagna. So we are keeping the same designer, seeing how it developed the idea of Galotti Radici into different modules. So we saw the upholstered item, now we can take a look to the coffee table that we can see also on this plane here in different heights. And in here, there are a lot of changes in regards to the materials. So we start from glass and metal and wood. So we always try to play with the materials, which is also something that we really look to, to keep and we want to highlight because it's something that makes us feel very, very proud. Bolle Collection, wow, this is a great seller of Galotti Radice, so always designed by Massimo Castagna. It's a family of uh, uh, lamps. So in here we can see three models like the Bolle Horizontale that is beautiful with this spectacular look uh, to be positioned on top of a dining table, for example, or the first one that was launched, that is the Bolle 4 and Bolle 6. So this is the very first Bolle that Massimo Castagna launched. And this year we are celebrating the 10th anniversary of this family of products. So every year we try to add something more to the collection. And it's getting quite a big family of products. Something that makes us feel really proud of is that given that the company is still, you know, evolving, but we want to keep the artisanal finishes and the artisanal way of producing always on top of everything because i think that nowadays uh, everybody can do furniture we are surrounded by furniture companies so what makes the difference in galotti radice is that we are an artisanal company so we are expanding but still keeping our artisanal values First of all, in the Bolle family, we are talking about glass. Glass is our DNA. So we were born thanks to glass. So we always want to keep the highlight on this material that is very close to us always. In here, we can start taking a look on how the spheres are actually made. You know that in uh, Veneto, Venice and all the surrounding, uh, there are these artisans 
work on the mouth blown process. So the mouth blowner actually takes uh, this uh, incandescent drop of glass and thanks to this rod, he can actually blow inside of it. And step by step, this little drop called the bolo in Italian gets bigger and bigger. And it turns out to be in this case, a 30 diameter centimeters sphere, how the development takes place. And this is a sketch that talks about how the um, colorful sphere are actually made of. To celebrate the anniversary, we actually thought about introducing some colors in collection. So starting from this year, the spheres will be not only in extra clear glass like we've seen here, but also with four different colors and how they are made. We also thought about how to uh, develop the colors without changing the lighting effect. So what we studied is um, about the sublimation process. So they put the sphere, in, they create a kind of a, a cosmic void and they start from a metallic sphere that is actually then, that turns out to be gas. And these colors is put, um, actually vaporized on top of the sphere. So actually this metallic, this process, which is called the sublimation, uh, turns out to give the color to the sphere. We introduced the four different colors, uh, the amber, the, like, which is like a little bit more yellow, the pinky, amethysta. Then we have topazio, which can be a smoke gray. And then we have bronze, the bronzite. In here, you have a sum up of all the bolle uh, products that we have in collection. As you can see, it's quite a big, uh, big family. There are the applique, the table lamps, and different kinds of chandeliers. These are the three models of uh, floor lamp and the bolle selo that is the one that we launched this year also in relation to the anniversary sami lounge so we moved to another designer in this case a women power designer studio pepe and they designed this family of products the sami that you can see in here the uh, armchairs and on the other side you will take a look to the bench so it's a very successful family of products with this very elegant and sophisticated look so you see how the structure is made of with this rounded curve. Actually, everything is made of wood. So it's massive wood with a rounded shape. And then we can see the little bit of brass on the details of the feet. And also thanks to Studio Pepe, we realized that this beautiful wall covering system. You see in here an example beautifully displayed. The material it is made of is the fibers of cotton. So we are talking about a recycled material. Fibers of cotton together with clay, they are cold pressed together to create this uh, three-dimensional wool covering system. But it's not like a simple wool covering as it has a lot of uh, um, characteristics in terms of technology and also in terms of acoustic performance. So it's really rich in details and we are really pushing a lot because we think that this one could really be a starting point also in relation to the boiserie system in our collection. Prism Law, a family of coffee tables uh, designed by David and Nicolas, other designers uh, that are part of our family, who designed this family of coffee tables presented in different materials. So as you can see, the different materials, marble, uh, glass, metal, are always part of our collection. Gastone, a sideboard in lacquer designed by Carlo Colombo, very elegant and sophisticated. We have the Garda mirrors that you can see also displayed in here that can be um, applied in different models and in different ways. So you can really create different compositions on the wall. Now let's move to the dining area. So we can see modularity, but not displayed on the sofa, but on the dining table. We are talking about the Sympodio system, that is a table that we have in collection, which sells really, really well, which is a mix of materials. So we have the glass, which is of course our DNA, the light and concrete on the base, and the mix with the metal to connect the base and to create this nice uh, uh, design. As you can see, it's a table that can give you a lot of chances to design every time a different space. So it really gives you a lot of chances to adjust depending on the space that you have available. 
and of course the different finishes. As you can see, it's composed of different modules and we find this table extremely interesting to accommodate different markets and different uh, ambiences. We focus a little bit on the artisanal characteristics that are presenting on this table in particular. In here, you can see a mix between the extra clear glass and in the middle, you see another finish, which is not extra clear glass. It seems like metal, but it's not metal. It always stays glass. We see how it is achieved. So we start with a glass panel and then our artisans add this uh, coloring which has a metallic um, uh, look then they start this uh, brushing process with this uh, circling uh, uh, mechanism also done of course on the beveled edges and the effect at the end seems like the one of a metal plate but in the end we are always talking about glass so we feel that this uh, finishing is really interesting on dining tables for example because it's a really resistant one and we wanted to play on the uh, surprise because you never know that in the end we're always talking about a glass panel. This is the best-selling product of Gallotti Radice, the 0414. We are very proud that this year we are celebrating the 10th anniversary of our two bestsellers. So we saw the Bolle collection and now we uh, take a look to the 0414 chair, which is our number one top selling product. Of course, uh, we decided to focus a little bit more on how this chair is produced, because as you can see, it has a very nice rounded shape in wood. And we wanted to share with our clients a little bit the crafted way of producing the chair. So it's composed of plywood which is then put inside of a template it's left like a couple of months to actually take the rounded shape uh, that you can see in the end and it's mixed with ash or beech wood depending on the final realization if it has to be closed pour or open pour so we have these two diversities and the two kind of wood are pressed together to create this uh, beautiful shape and it's something really incredible and sophisticated on how our artisans are able to create this uh, beautiful chair, which seems like a little bit of the Italian uh, 60s, the 70s. So it, we took inspiration from that, um, that part of the design. But of course, uh, uh, we decided to put a little bit more of Gallotti Radice inside of, the, inside of it. This is a video that we prepared to celebrate the anniversary. So we played with the colors on the Bolle family and we played with the colors obviously on the chair too. So you can see the different finishes that we presented and we created this total look, which I find extremely nice and fun. In here, you can see an example of the clay finish. This is a chart that sums up a little, a little bit the finishes that we have available. So you have a, quite a wide range of materials to play with. And we think that these new colors could add more values to the product itself. Bolle Horizontale, which is the top selling product in regards to the Bolle family. Because of course in the US you have these very huge rectangular tables. So the Bolle Horizontale can be really well matched together with it. We presented the Tortona, which is a very nice library presented in this bronze finish, and the Sensei console that we can see on that side. So very simple, sophisticated. Also in this case, we have a mix of materials with metal, wood, and we focus on the top finish. We are talking about glass, so you will see this uh, very particular shady effect which is achieved thanks to the oxidation of the copper leaf. So the leaf are applied one by one and it's very hard to apply them because they are very, very thin and the artisan has to blow the leaves to separate them and to apply them on the wall, on the glass panel. And then they start the oxidation process in order to achieve this particular look which has these uh, beautiful reddish shades and every piece is unique. I mean, you never know how the oxidation reacts. So every piece has to be considered unique. So in our opinion, the artisanal finishes that we have are actually part of our main characteristics. So every piece is unique. I mean, where can you find something like that in 
general in the furniture companies. The Ricky is a um, trolley that was designed by Pierangelo Gallotti and that still sells very well with this combination of material, always glass and metal. So where we come from. We moved to the bedroom where we presented the Lila bed. So we moved to Dainelli Studio, There's another couple of designers, uh, thanks to which we developed the Lila bed, which is of the same family as the armchairs that we can see in here. Very clean, sophisticated in lines uh, and elegant. Belonging to the same family, we have the Lila Mosaic. Dynamic products, you can create different kind of compositions every time. So it's a very playful family of benches. Uh, that you can accommodate in every ambience with a lot of materials mixed together like we did in this case and getting back to studio pepe we saw the armchairs before and belonging to the same family we have the sami vanity so the vanity means a feminine touch means a women so it was uh, something that we had in our dna obviously and in the same family of products we have the bench so we're always talking about a massive wood structure and then you can play with our fabrics and leathers in collection. Studio Pepe also designed this uh, shelving system that you can see in here displayed in different materials. So there is a play between marble, stones, uh, the Calacatta, Carrara, together with Travertino and the Cumi Credenza designed by Carlo Colombo elegant and sophisticated nothing to say it's a top selling sideboard in the collection with a mix of wood and marble the zeiss mirror says a top selling product even though it's not part of the newest collections but its style is uh, uh, never ending the fante coffee tables in uh, massive wood with uh, the antique mirror the 12 chi the nightstand that we have on display, always designed by Massimo Castagna. And we finish off with Bolle Cielo. So Bolle in different lines, different shapes, but always looking great. I love this last uh, sentence, which I find extremely close to us. The imperfection of the handmade becomes the added value and the distinctive essence of Gallotti Radice. Questions? Talk to us a little bit about your customization, right? Especially when you're an interior designer and you deal with clients. There's always a question about customization. Yeah, that's a good question. Bravo, Luca. I didn't say that, of course, uh, given that the company keeps on growing, we always try to accommodate the customizations. We know that for you, it's extremely important to customize because every ambience is different than the others. And we are always trying to accommodate your request. So our technical department is growing. We are always trying to hire more people because there are a lot of requests of customizations. Of course, depending on the kind of customizations, we always try to, uh, to make them and to give you support in customizing the product, which could be a finish, which could be a dimension. It could be, uh, I like this finish, but I want it on this product uh, rather than I don't find this size on the Sympodio system table. Is it possible to make it bigger or smaller? We always try to check and we always try to say yes. If it is something that technically cannot be done, then obviously we say no. And we are very sad to say no. So we always try to avoid. So whenever possible, uh, we always try to make custom products because we know that for you it's something extremely important. And something that I didn't also uh, mention that I think it's interesting for you to know is that we work a lot also with CUM and CUL. Even though we have a wide range of patterns, fabrics, materials, uh, leathers, we know that CUM and CULs are always part of the highest requests so mostly in the US market, I would say. So also in this case, uh, everything's possible. Thank you so much.